author, raconteur and celebrity Angela Lansbury, have you been to a lot of lunches? Many, many, many. I'm older than you think. No, I'm younger than you think. So tell me about those lunches. I'm intrigued. Ah, uh, well, I never ask a man to support me. <laughs> I was wearing an elastic undergarment. So what happened? Ah, now, of course, you really need to get a picture of the man you're meeting. I won a prize with this speech in Shanghai. This is my story about the man with the beard. I spoke on the phone to a charming man who said he had a beard. And I said, oh, which of course you must never do. You never say, oh. You say, oh, how lovely. And I said, oh. And he said, I'll shave it off. I said, no, no, don't do that. Supposing I don't like you anyway. You never say that. You say, oh, I'm sure you'll be delightful. Because of course, if you really like him, you can shave it off later. And if you don't like him, then why would you waste his time and make him shave off a beard that some other girl might like? So anyway, I went off to meet him, Café Rouge in Pinner, one of my favourite places. And I got to the doorstep, and it was raining, and a man was standing in the doorway. And I said to him, hello, are you John? And he said, what if I am? And I said, then you're my lunch date. And he said, oh. And the door opened behind him, and the woman said, oh, I found my umbrella, John. And she put her hand through his arm and marched off. And she said, who was that? He said, don't know, never seen him in my life before. At this point, I was a bit confused, because I'd already met the wrong man once. So I stepped in and looked round for my bearded man. There were three bearded men, all reading newspapers. One just by the door, one a bit further on, and one right at the back. So I thought the easiest thing was to go to the nip one by the door. He would sit by the door, wouldn't he? So I said, <coughs> he didn't look up. So I said, <coughs> he looked up. I said, um, John, my lunch date? He said, no. At this point, the two girls behind the bar turned and looked at me. So I went quickly to the next man and I said to him, <coughs> he carried on reading, and I said, <coughs> he looked up, I said, hello, are you John, are you my lunch date? I said, no. Two girls at the bar, having seen me talk to a man in the doorway, then the man just inside the doorway, and then the man further on, starting to look a little bit puzzled. I thought, my God, they're going to call the police if I don't hurry up. So I went to the back, to the third man, and I said, <coughs> he put down his newspaper. I said, are you John? He said, yes, I've been waiting for you. I said, oh, wonderful, and I sat down. And that is the end of the story. But the moral of the story is always get a photo of the person you're meeting because you don't want to meet four Johns in one day. One is enough for anybody. <laughs>